Jason. Welcome back to Catch Your Stop Feelings. I'm on the uh, Tomahawk. We're going on a one and a half day trip. We try to get some tuna. But yeah, super excited. First time going on a trip like this. We caught tuna on a private boat. But I heard a cattle boat is a whole different game. But it should be fun. Alright, catch you guys out on the water. Way forward here, bunk room shaped like a big U. You go down the inner stairwell, walk to the very front of the bunk room there. There's a step ladder, you climb up, pop that hatch out. Damn, so you can kind of see that we started the night kind of rough. This is the first drop and I ended up getting involved in the tangle. Yeah, it was pretty bad, but I mean, for me, it's all part of the learning experience and I'm not surprised this happened to me. Overall, the first session of our trip was kind of slow, but it was still refreshing to see some fish being pulled up onto the deck. Here's Captain David of the Tomahawk. He's um pretty much showing us how it's done and yeah I'm just I'm just in the background taking notes pretty much So here it's finally my turn. This was the fourth stop of the night and Sorry. usually how this works is at night the captain drives around with the boat, he uses a sonar to try to find these schools of fishes at night and when he does find them he'll try to position the boat in the spot that he wants to and he'll tell us on the PA system when to drop down. So pretty much the game plan is either you're sleeping in the bunk waiting for that PA to go off or you're kind of out there the whole time. I opted for the first option and uh, to be honest when I walked out I was like half awake. But yeah that shit when I hooked on that shit woke me up right away. Let's go. Shit. Would you recommend like pumping up and down or no, just no, 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 no. straight really? Straight up and down. Yep. Gotcha. Let the rod do the work. <laughs> Can you keep reeling or? I just woke up with them.
Dude, I think it popped off. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, man. Lost it. <sighs> I'm so scared of dropping this in the water. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even mine. <laughs> My buddies. Oh yeah, you're good, you're good. Oh, that's it? And it's like here. All right. I just wanted to do a quick update. This is Zach. What's, uh, what's your YouTube, Zach? Obsidian Fishing. Obsidian Fishing. Check his stuff out. <laughs> Back here on the troll. <laughs> yeah. Well, just an update. We had the, uh, the night bite. We, uh, we had four stops, uh, we didn't do too well, it was kind of a rough start. We got like maybe eight fishes in total, nothing too big, between like 30 to 60 pound grade fish. On the very last stop I hooked onto one but ended up losing it really close to the boat. The hook just popped out or something like that. But um, it's morning now, it's like 8 a.m. and we're just kind of trolling, looking for foamers, looking for kelp patties. I got a setup out there. And I got a Mad Mac on it, so we'll see if we land something. But yeah, stay tuned. Fish on! You got color too! Yeah! I'm under, under. Yeah. Yeah, boy, boy. Nice! Oh, can I get that? Oh, buddy! <laughs> Come on! Come on, let me go. Come on, see him. Oh, shit. Woo! Color! Up and up. 
Oh, it came off. Yeah, there's still yeah. back here. All right, so we're just heading back to the docks now. It's kind of a rough session, actually. Last night, we didn't even stop at all because we couldn't find any of the tuna. But, yeah, I mean, couldn't get my chance to redeem myself after losing that one. But it was still a nice day out there. Good experience. Definitely have to come back and try to catch a tuna. But I guess that's a reality of it, you know. Not gonna like limit out every time. But yeah, thanks for watching though.